Any updates on the stadium stuff since the renderings? I know that your son Johnny is kind of, you know, leading the way, the charge with all this stuff, but I got to ask you because that's what all the questions are going to be. So, so no, great question. I think what people need to really understand is that the stadium is probably only about 10% of the project there at Tropical Park. Um, mm -hmm. Our vision, and I think rightfully so, is Dade County Public Parks <clears throat> and Dade County Public Schools don't have the ability uh, to have, you know, large amounts of people to play baseball and football and basketball. You know, a lot of these schools are old. A lot of these schools have, you know, very uh, unsophisticated technological systems. They're run down. Uh, and, you know, I'd like to see where all the youth can go play basketball at a state of the art, you know, gymnasium, play volleyball. Uh, now pickleball is coming into the picture. I can just assume, you know, before we know it, you'll have a lot of teams as it relates to that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, we just want to see, uh, you know, something really nice, something like the, you know, Disney World Wide World of Sports. That's kind of what we've envisioned. And I think people are losing sight of what it, this is really all about. This is about getting a 270-acre tract of land and making it better, making it better for everybody, for the community. This is not uh, a, a play to get public land for free or anything like that. And I think people need to understand, which is something that, that maybe is troubling for some, is, look, I or my kids or ourselves, we could do just nothing and you know just live, a, go about our lives, right? Mm -hmm. uh, or we can try to help the community. And you know, people need to kind of start opening up their their minds as to why we're doing this. I've always, 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 since I've been able to, because if you know a little bit about my story, uh, you know, I never had any kind of wealth. I was able to acquire it, you know, throughout time and with a lot of luck and with a lot of hard work. And I've always tried to help the youth and the elderly. <clears throat> and in my opinion, we have a lot of problems, you know, with drugs and crime uh, and kids not doing the things that they should do. And this is the opportunity for me and what I've told my kids to do all along is to give back. Uh, I see way too many, you know, people losing their lives because of drinking and they get into issues. You know, I've been front and center in a lot of the opioid epidemic. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's sad to see when young kids pass away. Uh, and, and if we can help that to save just one life, it'd be great. And I think this park with after school programs and the ability to get kids to do what you're doing now right so people don't understand how difficult what you're doing now you have to set up you have to have a script yep. look how nice your background is uh you're you're getting people motivated just like you you said and that's a good thing you know that's one of the reasons why i i'm a, I'm a super big fan of yours uh i think you know what you're doing is spectacular uh, i've been in production for probably 20 something years I understand that I get it and giving all this back to the kids is important. So let's get to the stadium itself. <clears throat> the reason why I believe the stadium is such a great idea in Tropical Park is number one, it's very close to the University of Miami. At the end of the day, it is the University of Miami. Some people say, well, why don't you like the university? They should have planned for land, so on and so forth. Land in Coral Gables is more expensive than just probably anywhere in Florida. Right. Maybe perhaps West Palm Beach. Uh, but ultimately, you have Coral Gables, Pinecrest. Uh, you have, you know, unincorporated Dade County. You have Doral. You know, there's so much migration coming here, especially after COVID. And I think that's our best shot to get, you know, a lot of people into the stadium. There's a lot of people that want it. And I know that, you know, between grandparents, you know, the 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 grandchildren and obviously the parent of the grandchild, it's a great way to really get people out to watch the football game. There's nothing nicer than to have you and your dad and, and your grandkid and, you know, the, the father of that grandchild to have that tradition. You know, we need to understand the University of Miami is a different animal. It is. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's got, you know, it's got 10, 11,000 students, you know, uh, uh, at any given moment, you know, every year, year after year. So one of the other things we're trying to do is get uh, sort of the graduate schools there, maybe the law school there and the medical school, because that's giving back to the community also. People don't understand also that you health saves a lot of lives. 
uh, Jackson Hospital saves a lot of lives. To be able to get helicopters to land there with trauma patients, you know, and get people to, to learn medicine and to help and, and to be able to participate in a number of things, not just sports, you know, there's a lot of uh, back end to the sports. That's kind of our vision. And I just think that your platform is one of the, the, the better platforms to get the, the voice out. Yeah, and I appreciate that. And I'm sure as you're aware, uh, I'm a big fan of this project and I love this idea. That's why I keep on continuing to put out positive videos about this, trying to inform people as best I can. And I think two things really that I personally feel like, at least from my point of view, that people are forgetting or not understanding is that it's very early on in this, right? Yes. I mean, with all of the planning and everything, and it takes a while to make these things happen. And number two, as you already touched on, it, it's a much bigger project than just a stadium. There's tons of things that are being put into this, and a lot of people would benefit from it. Uh, yes. So I, I'm very excited about it and a, a huge fan of it. And I know that you know, I'm a big fan of your Twitter account, by the way. I'm all about holding people accountable for the things they say, not hiding behind profile pictures. And, you know, there's burner accounts and all this stuff. So I know you don't need positive reinforcement from me, but just keep at it. Don't let the trolls get to you on Twitter. I don't speak for all Canes fans. But I know that the majority of us are very excited about this idea. And the Canes fans, a lot of them that aren't, just being honest, in my opinion, are because we're not really used to having a lot of nice things and things go our way. So they're they're almost afraid to get excited about it and then it not happen and being let down. So I think that's where a lot of the negativity comes from. So, so look, here's a good thing. I'm, I'm not a guy that you can dissuade from doing things. You know, I've been doing this my entire life. Uh, every single project I've ever been involved in has been a difficult project. It's one that people think can't happen. They don't believe in it. That's been the entire story of my life. Um, and that's sort of like some of the people that know me think that that actually motivates me because it's kind of like a challenge, right? Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I think is extremely important is, you know, people really need to become as informed as possible to make decisions. You know, I have no problems with people uh, criticizing, but I just want people to criticize with proper information. Bingo. Now, you don't want a park, uh, you don't want a, you know, a tropical park to have a stadium or, or a renovation. I'm okay with that. I mean, I think everybody's entitled to their opinion, but I think when you do that, at least have the information of what our vision is. Now, if you tell me, that you're not for helping the youth, that you're not for after school programs, that you're not for having better health care and having places where people have jobs and improving the all surrounding area, then I'll say, okay, well, I listen to you. But you know, many a times what people say is like, let's save the parts. So when I write back to them, okay, what have you, what have you done to save the park? I mean, do you go there? Uh, look, I have a lot of people that, that go around canals picking up just debris, mm -hmm. right? And, you know, this is just my personal opinion. I respect everybody else's. I've been to Tropical Park. It's super rundown. Um, the county, quite frankly, not in their defense. They don't have the resources to put and pump money into 275 acres. You know, yeah, 275 acres. <clears throat> if they start pumping money in, what do you think the taxpayers are going to say? You're throwing money away. So this is an opportunity <laughs> where we know we can bring in really big, companies like you know you health and and uh like texas live we could bring something there that's good for everybody that creates a tax base that creates revenue for the county that provides jobs and i just don't see the negative of it but again everybody's entitled to their opinion exactly i i love it absolutely love it